I'll go back to, to you, but, but just to piggyback on what you just said, you know, about one of my teachers was a, a man named Ram Das. You ever heard of Ram Das? No. He was a beautiful man. He died, died a few years ago. He's responsible for a lot of the Eastern teachings that we have in the U.S. now coming over. He brought them in the late like, 60s. Like what? Oh, dude, just like yoga, Buddhism. Like these things weren't really present in American culture in the 50s and yeah. early 60s. And so he was one of the people. Even that, when I was growing up, if I was doing yoga, I would get fucking yeah, so beat up. I get jumped. It's continued to grow, but like he was one of the first, not the only one, one of the first to bring things over. Anyways, he has a great quote, and he says, "We're all just walking each other home. We're all just walking each other home. If you can do something in your life, you know, sometimes you're either on top of life or life's on top of you. You know." And so if you if you're in a position where you're on top of life and you can you can help somebody else on their journey, you should. Mm -hmm. And and I can't really think of anything more important to do. You know, there's other things to do, you know, you and me, we train, we run a business, we it's all important, but is any of it more important than walking somebody else home, helping them on their experience of life? And so if we can use our platforms, our shows, whatever to do that, then we should, man. And, and that's like, it's worth more than any check. Yeah. It's worth more than any check. We so, were saying outside. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Biggest problem right now. You'd like to have more money, maybe? Yeah, sure. You want to be mean, paid more? You but this not, is a time to negotiate. I'm not that material, <laughs> not that materialistic. My biggest problem, I want to, I, I sometimes, I hate when I like think of what I want to do and then I start to do it and then I'm like, man, this isn't what I've pictured in my head and I got to learn how to let go of those two things. You know what I mean? Nah. Right. So are you saying that you, are you saying that you, are you saying you start things and you give up too soon? Kind of. I'm saying like the vision in my head is like, okay, this is what I wanted to be and I get so tied to that. And then when I go to make the thing, I'm like. Oh, this isn't what I had in my head. This isn't. You know so you what I get mean? too attached to a, it coming out exactly the way you have it planned, right. and rather than allowing it to grow into something that may even be more beautiful, I kind of just stop it. You and quit. I'm like, I don't want to do you this. Quit. Yeah, yeah. Back out. Yeah. It's too hard. I get it. I get it. You like control. When's the last yeah. time you did a cold plunge? Like four days ago. <laughs> Should I already Sorry, hit three should, today? This morning, <laughs> three I did it this today. Morning. Yeah, <laughs> you're full of shit. Do you have bro. a cold plunge at your house? Fuck Do yeah. you have one here? Of course. So you're Wim Hof certified. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You just went out there and breathed with Wim, and he. <sighs> I trained with Wim twice, and I went through. They have a teacher certification program that I went through. It was 20 weeks online, and then four days in Poland. Is so it you true? Just learn learn a lot of science, how to teach it. It's, it's the how 40 to teach deep it. breaths. Yeah, and you get high, right? Yeah, you take like 30 to 40 deep breaths. And then we after an exhale, we do what's called a retention. Can we do one now on the pod? Yeah. Oh, nice, I was starting. And breathe into the mic. Don't hide that breath. Let them hear it. All, right. All of the listeners do this at home or in your car driving to work. Yeah, can you guys give me some peaceful music? <laughs> nice, if you're this in your is car, great. Close your eyes and just... This is my favorite okay. podcast we've no, ever that's done. That's a really important point. If you're in your car... Do not do this, actually. Oh, um, that's a good point. Yeah, because there's a slight chance we're going to really like over oxygenate. You could pass out. You could pass out. So this is a no-no for in the car, and it's a no-no if you're in or near water. You know, a lot of people. Mm. What happens is <laughs> when we do this, the breath holds naturally get longer. So people get excited and they go, oh, "I'm going to go underwater and do this," and their people have died from from fucking around with that. Really? So it's serious. This is only to be done if you're in a safe place, sitting or lying Sit down. Sit down, yeah. Um, and usually we do this lying down, we'll do it sitting here, and we'll just do one round. But if we were doing a full practice, like you know, I do this with professional sports teams, I work with the San Francisco 49ers, the Duke men's basketball, we'll do this three to five, maybe even six rounds. And it can become psychedelic. It makes all your problems go away. Just For breathing. Sure. I mean, and what Wim says is you're getting high in your own supply. It's mm -hmm. a really beautiful technique. Another great thing is 
you know, I use psychedelics sometimes. Yeah. You ever do but, whippets? No. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like the same feeling. I don't know if that's true. It seems like it wouldn't be. Your but brain's like I'll wah, take wah, your word wah, for wah, it. Wah, 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 you're just like super <laughs> fucking. And it it kind of feels like the Wim Hof method. It's you should so, do a whippet tonight. I'm not <laughs> doing a whippet tonight. There's a zero percent chance. It's just there. Oh no, it's uh, it's not yeah. it. It's not. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'll I'll go ahead and probably say I'll never do a whippet in my life. I brought up psychedelics because the thing about psychedelic, you take a dose of it, you can't untake it, Yeah. right? But the, the breathing, one of the cool features of it is if you ever want more, you breathe harder and deeper. And if, you, if it's too much, you just slow down. Mm -hmm. You're in control, you're in control of the experience. So um, we can do a round now. You wanna do a yeah. round now? Yeah. And I'll guide you, but okay. bear that in mind you're in control of your experience. Okay. So a few things that might come up, you might feel some tingling in your body, mm -hmm. you might have temperature change, you might get hot or cold. Feel really good. You may feel really good. You may get some cramping. Sometimes people's hands lock up like this. That's totally normal, it'll go away. It's called tet tetany. Um, <laughs> we call it T-Rex hands. Uh, Damn, probably won't, like, probably, yeah, like it probably got, won't happen. No, like when me. fighters get knocked out. And like, it's a little bit like that. Uh, it probably won't happen in one round. Um, and you may have emotional releases. So uh, <laughs> if you start crying, <laughs> I'm going to be so excited. I'd be right, so happy. Take it serious. I don't know. Yeah. I am. And you want to make fun of this. I'm not. <laughs> don't disrespect the man I'm in his home. Not. No, he's not. He's not. He's in. Kyle yeah. playing Joe Rogan saying this isn't real. He's in. Did you hear that sound bite? <laughs> Joe Rogan. No, chimed in. Joe Rogan said that. Say it again, Joe. <laughs> did you do this with the 49ers before the Super Bowl? I did this with them the last two off seasons. Uh, so before the season started. I was about to blame you for the loss. <laughs> no, you can't blame me. You can blame me for them getting in the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, it, it was actually really beautiful. Really yeah. beautiful to see guys. You know, um, and the things that I just described, all those happen. And they happen every session. So it's the cool thing about the breath work is uh, it, it works even if you don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you follow the direction. So um, I'm gonna ask you guys to close your eyes um, and keep my, keep my beautiful music going. Before we even start, just feeling into the body, see if you can feel your pulse in your hands. See if you, see if you can feel your heartbeat anywhere in your hands. Like with touching my hands or just? No, no, no. Just okay. leave your hands down. You want to start an activity on your? No, garment? no, no. My, I was just checking my heart rate. It's at 58 <laughs> right now. Okay. It'll, it'll, when we do the retention, so we're going to do the, the deep breaths and your heart rate will go up. Once we go into the retention, your heart rate will, will drop. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you'll be able to see that later on your. I want to see, yeah. Out. I want to see it drop down to 50. That'd be crazy. But, I'd feel like an, but an elite you, athlete. I'll have you not look at it while we're doing it. Gotcha. Just, just have the experience. Yeah. If I pass out, I haven't eaten today. That's why. So just. Oh, even better. It's best on an empty stomach. Okay, so even cool. better. Um, okay. So close your eyes and I'll have you take a deep breath and fill up your belly and your chest. <sighs> Let it go. Belly, chest, let it go. Belly, chest, let it go. Belly, chest, let it go. Charge it up, let it go. Charge it up, let it go. Good guys, I wanna see you breathing and I wanna hear you breathing. These are not relaxing breaths, these are not subtle breaths, these are warrior breaths. You're charging up. Feel the energy moving up the spine into the head and letting it go. Charge it up. Yeah. Belly, chest, letting go. Fully in. Good. Beautiful work. Keep it on. Charge it up. Yep. Good work. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. 20 more. Letting go. Charge it up. Let him go. Fifteen. Let him go. Thirteen. Let him go. Ten more breaths. Keep it 
going. Five. All the way up. Fill it up. The belly and the chest. Two. Let it go. One. Let it go. One more breath together. Let it go. Let it out. It just hit me on that breath. Yeah, Let it feel, out. I feel insane. It wasn't working until that last one. Now take one more breath in together. Now let it out and block. You're gonna stop breathing now. After the exhale, stop breathing. I'm high as fuck, dog. Just enjoy the experience. Pretty fucking good. Ah, ah. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. And let your body do what it's capable of doing. Your body can now go without oxygen for minutes. I don't need to breathe anymore. Yeah. I feel it in my hands like really bad. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. And no need to Tingles. force it. If you need to take a breath, you can, but, but you're okay. When you take that breath in, go ahead and we'll take a breath in now. And we'll hold it for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. <sighs> and before you open your eyes or keep the eyes closed, just allow some gratitude to move into your heart. Gratitude for where you are, who helped you to get here. Gratitude for our friends, our family, our fathers, our mothers. And lastly, Gratitude for yourself. You're right where you're supposed to be. All the challenges that have been given to you in your life were happening for you, to prepare you for what's next. You're perfect, whole and complete. And life has your back. <laughs> you can open your eyes, Jeff, when you're ready. I didn't breathe it the whole time after that second breath you gave us. Breaking the rules, Jeff. I like it. I just didn't feel like I needed to. Your buddy needs a hug from you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you hit yeah. a soft. Spot. Take the no, take the headphone off and give him a real one. Heart to heart. Yeah, give him a real one. You gotta put your heart. Came on and make dick jokes, bro. <laughs> Damn, I, I never know if you're fucking, <laughs> if you're joking or what. what but, are you think I'm joking? No, no, <laughs> I don't want to start. I don't want yeah. Mike to flip the table. This is why the table flipped. Mm. It came from his father passed away mm. about a month ago, two months ago, two months. Three. Two and a half. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But Mike's dog passed away and they got into a, a battle over, you <laughs> no. know, who was, uh, who it was just bad. and Suffering yeah. wars. And then, then he called him some names after and it just got a little out of hand. It was much mm. different than this episode. Probably the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you what came up for you during that. Yeah, my dad. Yeah. Before he, you said even the father's, great before our father's, I was like, damn it. I knew I opened my eyes and peeked at him for a second during yeah. that because I just I felt something over there and then I saw him crying and I was like is that is he doing a fucking bit right now I hope he's not because he no. deals with his pain with humor as we yeah well, well, like a lot of us do so in the beginning he was dealing with uh, the, it was coping by making jokes about it like he would ask he would be out in a club and he'd be like hey can you take a picture of us my dad just died and like it's a crazy sick joke but he's uh, i mean comedians are dark you know you gotta have some pain you i just gotta... yeah that's how he would laugh yeah so he, would, he would i make the jokes that i know he'd be comfortable with 
Yeah. So, you know what I mean? You know, all of us, especially as men, mm -hmm. you know, we, we deal with our pain different ways, but a lot of it, a lot of our ways don't include actually letting it out or actually feeling it. I cry a lot. <laughs> it's 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 so rare that doing a podcast i'll just kind of let go like that because i always want to be in control of everything yeah like we always have moving parts like maybe a prank's gonna happen later on i'm thinking about setting up and the timing and all that but that was nice to just be doing a podcast and just completely just open to mm. you know whatever somebody could have came in and side wrapped me knocked <laughs> me out right now you know my guard's down but i was fine with it I was high off yeah. oxygen, breathing. Why wasn't gonna let nobody side rack you? Well, you know, <laughs> one of these guys over there, this one looks like he's got a good shot on him. <laughs> you know? Let me ask you what it, uh, came up for you physically or emotionally. Oh, it reminded me of doing whippets. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it, it, felt like, it felt like a whippet. Like you don't have to go buy those things. Just breathe. You don't have to go do whippets. I swear it feels like whippets. Correct, I believe you. I believe you. But only I don't that's think just like one. are very, very good for us, <laughs> yeah. though. Yeah. This is natural. Yeah, there's there's 10 to 15 published studies on yeah. this breathing technique and I, its health benefits.